Well, hello, coffee time friends. It's coffee time. It's cook time. It's supper time. What are you fixing, Mama? I'm fixing a honey mustard dress. And then here I have got the uh, fourth a cup of vegetable oil and a fourth a cup of mustard. And I put in a fourth a cup of honey. And I put my oil in this cup first. Top of the line, Mom, you get top of the grease. Oh, I put the oil in my cup first, and that makes the honey and mustard come out better. So uh, that's a fourth a cup of oil, a fourth a cup of mustard, and a fourth a cup of honey. And now I'm going to get better for this. Now I've checked all this chicken, and I've been frying chicken. Seems like my whole adult life here. <laughs> you ever fried chicken? It just goes and goes and goes. I never did like some fried chicken um, because of that. And I was worried about it being done until I started doing an internal testing with the tent. I'll do that and it works out good. Now I've got a big old pot of chicken here. We're going to eat on this for a day or two. Uh, we're going to be making bird dogs. Have you ever heard of a bird dog? You know what a hot dog is. We'll put, replace the dog and put a bird in there, which is a piece of chicken tender. Now... First time I ever heard of these was from Miss Mimi's Recipes. Uh, if you don't follow her, go over and look at her page. She's just a wonderful individual. And this is where I heard from them. Then Mama Sue done them. And I thought, those are wonderful. I, I've never tasted them, but I can already tell you they're absolutely delicious. Because I've already, just thinking about them makes me starving. So I knew they would be absolutely delicious. I didn't want to waste your old time frying chicken all night. I really didn't. So, I got most of the chicken done. Wasn't that nice of me? Whoo, I'm glad I done it because huh, it took a minute. So, that's the hardest part. You can, you can, as, as Mimi said, uh, it's easy. You can run through the drive and pick you up some and quit this foolishness of thinking you have to cook everything. We do, don't we? I do like to cook most things. And Mama, that's one of the reasons we're having them. Mama, can you set this out of your way? Uh, I... Just as soon as I get rid of All this. Right. I don't want it over here when you get um, What was I saying? Oh, going through the drive thru and grabbing them? Thank you, Mama, because I want them to see and hear you. And um, that's what these are. These are, this is just fried chicken that I just fried. And that ain't pretty as it should have been, but it's fried and it's it's tasty. And I used uh, y'all's, Lord, look at this butter everywhere. Y'all's ranch, lemon, lemon pepper, ranch, and Southern Secret, and flour. Didn't even use salt and pepper in them. So they're salt and pepper free. But I did put um, all that in it, and I think that'll substitute for any salt I might have missed. All right, so we're having bird dogs. Now, what on earth is a bird dog? That's what I said when Mimi said it. Uh, what is a bird dog? Well, it's a hot dog bun with bacon, cheese, piece of chicken tinder, drizzled with some kind of dressing. Now, I think Mimi put mayonnaise on some of hers. I'm not sure. I won't commit to that because I know she put something on top. We're going to do ours maybe just a little different. We're going to put bacon. Mama just made bacon. Bacon, cheese, a piece of chicken tender, and a drizzle of Mama's delicious honey mustard dressing. Does that sound wonderful? Now you can add lettuce, tomato, you can add anything you want. I might chop this tomato up, just put it on top. That's what I might just talk myself into doing. Because I've got a couple here that need fixed. Mama, I'm going to let you take it away. Now, Mama's going to show you this. I'm going to raise you up high and tilt you down low so you can see Mama and all she's doing. Okay, do. this is a fourth a cup of uh, vegetable oil, a fourth a cup of mustard, and a fourth a cup of honey that I've got in here now. Mm -hmm. And all I've done is try to mix this up good. Let me give it a shake shake for you. Uh, and then I'm going to add uh, one cup of uh, mayonnaise in it. Okay. 
I read your mind. Did you hear me oh, reading? Oh, you grabbed it just as I was. I thought she would be wanting me to get that out of her way. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to most of the time this for you? Yeah, if you want to do it. You gonna put yeah. your seasons in first? Or? You wanna put the, uh, get it off the spoon for me? I sure will. You serious about that, ain't you? You want every yeah, one? Don't waste. Waste not, won't not. All right. Let me get this out of my way. Honey and mustard coming up. And then I'm gonna put a. I want you to watch this next part, folks. You all clean, and I'm trying to burn Mama up sometimes. Oh, I don't like doing that. You claim it, Mama. You claim it. I've got the cup of mayonnaise, a fourth cup of mustard, a fourth cup of vegetable, a fourth a cup of honey, and this is just a. Cayenne pepper. So just this a is. little dash, a small pinch. <laughs> Just see it. Mama, that wasn't me. And here is a, it calls for onion salt, but I've got onion powder. I didn't use the salt. Mama, you ain't too good. I'm trying to run it down. That's you you baptized all of us. Eighth a teaspoon. Uh -huh. Then on the vinegar, it says one half to three-fourths teaspoon of cider vinegar, and this is a hive. Is this a true Christmas tree ornament? A, no, it's not a Christmas tree. Oops. So you put a, what was that? A hive. A half and, a, and another fourth. Yeah, it says three-fourths. All right, you did good, Mama. I'm going to stir. Mama's got some little utensils for Christmas tree ornaments. I believe she's broke one out for me. No, that's not it. I think I could have done better with a with a bigger bow and a bigger whisk. But it's it's done. Look here. So that's all it takes is a cup of mayo, one fourth cup of mustard, one fourth cup of vegetable, one fourth cup of honey. And that's the consistency. A small pinch of red pepper. A eighth teaspoon of onion salt, a half to three fourths teaspoon of cider vinegar. And then you just mix it, let it set a minute. It's perfect, Mama. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do these two tomatoes? Oh, if you want to. Or one. One. Yeah. They're awful. They're, they're getting to that point where they're going to have to have a talking to. Here, let me wash it off. You've there. done washed them. Well, they're laid there and stuff out. All there. right, thank you. Mama likes to wash them when she gets them washing and she cleans the bar off and wash them when she uses them. This is delicious, folks. This is better than any of them stores. See, yeah, this has got a little wheat. Uh, hog in the potatoes. Well, it took me to have both of them, Mama. I'm going to cut this little end piece out. And that's our dressing. I'm not even going dirty a cutting board. Well, I've got a cutting board over here, I think, just for this job. You know what, Mama? It should be there. It is. I'm just going to slice this tomato up. He may not be no count. I don't know. What are y'all eating tonight? These, I've been looking forward to these. I used to do something called a Monterey um, chicken sandwich, and it was very close to this. And tonight I'm going to use two kinds of cheeses. We're going to use some cheddar and some white. And um, we're going to use that bacon. And we're going to make these. Now, Mimi had some fancy buns. You must be able to get them in the big cities. You can't get them here. I mean, you might be able to some days. But they, they was uh, top sliced buns. Ours is going to be a little sideways because we're using the sideways sliced buns. Or any sort of roll. Hot meat Sideways, last ones. I, I, you know, that's fancy, and I like fancy. Um, but I'm sure, you know, they make a better sandwich that way. But if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. It's just you gotta use what you gotta use. Let's see if this is good. Little quality control on my. Actually, it's it's rather good in. Um, it's extra ripe. 
it's extra. I like them when they're good and right. So I'm just going to fourth these, fourth them up. Is that the correct terminology to, to say I'm going to fourth them? I think so. I'll slice them one way and then slice them another way. Now these are just the plain old standard buns. And you all can use the fancy ones if you're in a location or you can get top split buns. Uh, what are you drinking? I've got coffee and, and, water. and water. I don't know what do you want. I'm going to get yours. Now see her buns, and, and I think Mama Sue did the same thing. They were split like this and they peeled them open. Mine's already pre-split over here. I'm gonna peel them open that way. I don't think it's gonna manage the taste to be different. So my hands are clean. No, I have not handled any raw chicken since I went right over there and washed my hands real good. Now, I'm gonna change up just a little bit. And I'm gonna put a little drizzle of this on the bottom. Okay, so y'all do yours, but I'm doing these a little different than probably what I've seen them do. But that's okay, because it's all ours. So this is ours, and yours will be yours. We'll all be happy with it. I just loved these when she made them, and I thought, what? I'm going to use that, because I'm, I'm going to use that, because it's going to come down. Okay. And I, I don't even have to have one. If you don't want me to have one, Mama. I'll let you have one. That we honey mustard is counter looking good. Um, you might need a fork, but it ain't mandatory. It ain't mandatory. Do you want white cheese, too, or just cheddar cheese? A little bit of both. Not a whole bit. Okay. If you'll hand me the white out, we'll have both. And you Mama always does that. Like I said, would you? It, don't you ever? No, ma no, ma'am. No, ma'am. You just dropped the breaking fork in the floor. I heard it. I'm sorry. I'm going to put... The, this bacon is so done. Oh, it's perfect crisp. So I'm going to put a good couple of slices in there. And on Mama's too. My mama's food. Make sure hers is good and crispy. She don't want it any other way. Any other way, she won't have it. I'll take that off mine. See, that is real crispy. I don't care if mine's a little pliable. I like them crisp, crisp, crisp. You only do crispy. We know, Mama. We're fixing you up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm giving you all the good bacon. I don't and you want mozzarella, that's right? Yeah, a little bit of it. Alright. So, you got your bacon in there. Then you put your chicken. Now, this chicken is not your perfect little tenders. These were more pounded out to be... These were big breasts, and we pounded them out and made our own. So, Mama, here's your... Now this is good eats. Good eats. I just know this is going to be perfectly delicious because I see Mimi make it and hers was delicious. And I see Mama Sue make it and hers was delicious. Mama Sue and Mama cook a lot alike. You all know both of them ladies, I'm sure. So there's my chicken. Mama's chicken. Now Mama, here is the cheddar. You put mine on here. I ain't put mine yet. Oh, Here's the cheddar. And you just put your cheddar. Now, if you want to do a grate your own, that would be wonderful too. And here's a little mozzarella going on ours. These are wonderful. Mimi said they use it for uh, tailgating, and I can see how wonderful that would be. And um, a little bit of tomato on there. These are super ripe tomatoes. They're not, they're just really, this is the perfection, I think, for these. 
What do y'all think about it so far? Those look really good. I think they do too, Gina. Never had them. This is my maiden voyage with a bird dog. Now, I'm sure it gets its name because you take the dog off and you put the bird in there. So it's a bird dog instead of a hot dog. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Mama's got a fancy grizzler. I can't get it out. This is the one that got me in trouble because I left it at work. Now look at here. This is the good part. You drizzle that over that just perfectly. Uh -huh. Mama, did you get it done? I think it went down in there enough. If it ain't, I'll put me some more when I eat it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's bless it, people. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to protect such a wonderful meal. Dear Lord, we just pray you shall nourish our bodies with it. And lead and guide and direct us, dear Lord. Give us the words to say and things to do that you'd always have us to do. Dear Lord, all of our family gathered here today, we just pray that you'll be with all the prayer requests and all the need, dear Lord, and you'll answer it in your will and your mercy and your grace. Be with our country, be with our nation, be with our leaders. In your blessing name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mama, you want to cut? Yeah, I cut it in two so I can handle it. All right, let's cut it. Cut it in a piece or two. How's that sound? Yeah. So these are bird dogs, in case you're just tuning in. They ain't hot dogs. And they're made with chicken tender, bacon, honey mustard. And look at all that goodness. Now, that's just like downtown folks. I could eat that at a tailgate, a park bench, a table, in the front seat of the car with plenty of air. Mm. And it would be delicious. Now, Mama Sue and Miss Mimi says they're just wonderful. And I trust both of them ladies, so I'm going to say I'm ready for even taste of it. These have got to be just wonderful. Good. What do you think, Mama? Fine. Wow. Good? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it. Here I go. Very good. I'm going to show you my first bite. Mama, you're going to say we're going to put these on rotation? Yeah, we can put them on For rotation. summer, especially. And there it is. Little chicken, little tomato cheeses. Oh, oh. Right downtown, sure enough. Mm. Folks, I'm going to tell you, this is one of my new favorite things now. Really. Mom, this would be perfect anytime you have chicken. And like Miss Mimi said, you can go through a drive-thru and pick a chicken on that. Oh, yeah. For the family. Because this is delicious, folks. It's basically a chicken sandwich on a hot dog bun. But it's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. I'm so glad I watched. I'm so good. Is that a downward facing thumb? Did you do that or did I? I want thumbs up. <laughs> Can I give it thumbs up? <laughs> ah, there it is. These are perfect, Mama. Very good. And there's enough here for lunch. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Don't pass this up, folks. It's too easy to make. It's too simple to buy. This was chicken breast, and I just I cut them up into tender sizes, and then I took a, a meat tenderizer and just hit them once or twice. I didn't pound them out. Just to make them flat enough to fry evenly. Fried them up and I put, <clears throat> I dredged them in buttermilk and all those seasonings. And all those seasonings and flour. And that's it. And Mama made the honey mustard and bacon. And that's it. That was a simple, super simple supper. Thank you for the thumb up, Kay. That was sweet. <laughs> it looks so good. Elizabeth, it is good. Uh, Miss Mimi's recipes. She's a southern lady, if there ever was one. And she uh, made these back in the fall. 
And I've been eyeballing them ever since then, thinking, I'm going to try Mimi's bird dog sometime. And then Mama Sue made them not too long ago. And when she made them, I thought, mm, those look so good. I am going to make them. So here they are. They're absolutely delicious. Mama approved. Now that's yeah. good. Mama said at first that she had forgotten about <clears throat> seeing them on Mimi's. As she, <laughs> she said, what are, you, what are you doing in there? Because uh, I started the chicken, and she, I said, we're having bird dogs for supper tonight, Mama. She said, you are. <laughs> I said, oh, Mama, you going to like this? She said, I don't know if I will or not now. I said, Mama, it's a chicken and honey mustard and bacon and cheese on a hot dog bun. And she said, oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I said, would you care to make some bacon and fix some honey mustard? And she said, Oh, that sounds wonderful. And I said, you remember? And she remembered then seeing them on those minis. But the name is neat to me. Hot dog or bird dog? You can have both at a cookout. And so we got bird dogs and hot dogs. Which are one you want? Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mom, mm -hmm. these are on the rotation. Yeah. You got anything you want to add tonight for the fine folks? No, I've got my mouth full. <laughs> We need a t-shirt that says, I can't talk, I got my mouth full. With Mama's picture on it. I do, need it. <laughs> Let's see what y'all are saying. See if y'all agree or disagree, vote or don't vote. You two are so fun. Well, thank you, Terry. <laughs> Hello from sunny Dundee, Florida. Is that where you're from? Hey, John. From Baltimore. Pray for Baltimore. Oh, is something going on in Baltimore, Kay? Y'all know I don't watch the news enough. I try. I didn't, I've not heard anything. I'll have to get off here and see the news. I can't wait till the hubs ask what a, what's for supper. And I holler, bird dog. Oh, <laughs> Gay, it's a great supper. Mama said, bird dogs? What? <laughs> You hear hot dogs all the time. You don't think nothing about it, but a bird dog. <laughs> what are you going to do with all those tomatoes you cut up, Donna? She'll he'll eat them. I'll eat them <laughs> just plain. I'll just eat. These are real super ripe, so I don't put them back in the refrigerator or nothing. If I cut them, I eat them. The reason I didn't cut this last one. See that little shrivelly? But I didn't. I thought, well, that, may, but that's, that one's perfect. So I'll use that one tomorrow for this same thing. Uh, looks good. We had hamburgers. Becky, I love a good hamburger. Good night, everyone. Hilda, good night. Hi from Oregon. Looks good. Well, thank you, Peggy. Love your videos. Well, thank you, Peggy Jackson. Mama's hot bacon honey mustard dressing. This, no, no, that's a <clears throat> hot bacon honey mustard. You take your hot bacon, put it in the honey mustard, and put it on a green side. Oh, no, we don't have that. This is just honey mustard. But we do love hot bacon honey mustard. Agree 100%. Thank you, Gala. We appreciate that. I would make these. Uh, Hilda, it's easy to make. This one was simple. It's one of those things that when you see somebody make it on a cooking show and you're thinking to yourself, why have I not made these my whole life? That's what I was thinking. Why have I not always made those? Those are just so super good. So it's not our original idea. By no means, and I want to give credit where credit's due, and I don't know the origination of it, but I know where I first seen it, it was on Mimi's Recipes, and then I seen it on Mama Sue's, so it's absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So if you're like me, and you've seen it, maybe you've seen it a couple of times, and you're thinking, that would have to be good, you're right, it is good. Get out there and get you some. Don't wait. This is perfect for the summer, it's perfect when it's hot. Uh, dinner looks delicious. Yes to bird dogs. Thank you, Brandy. That's a keeper. We, uh, Wanda, I agree. I like regular mustard to hither. Paula, are you talking about a different kind of mustard? Looks good. Uh, from South Carolina. Is that Aiken? A-I-K-E-N? A -I -K -E -N? Uh, bridge went down. Oh, in Baltimore? in Baltimore? Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. I will have 
have to get on Facebook or somewhere and look or the news tonight. I don't have cable, so I don't know what I'm... What is a bird dog? Marsha Thomas, it's you replace the hot dog with a chicken tender. A southern fried chicken tender. You could probably use grilled too. But we replaced it with southern fried chicken. And you put a piece of bacon, a chicken tender, breaded chicken tender. Then you cover that with cheddar cheese. And, and we use mozzarella too. And then you make you some homemade honey mustard, just like Mama did. You can go back and watch the video and see how she made it. And I just put a little tomato on top of it, and it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Let's do remember Baltimore. I can't imagine. You know, <clears throat> I don't have a paralyzing phobia, but I don't like bridges. I will go over them, but I prefer not to. And I'll tell you something else I ain't crazy about. And we have a ton of them down here in the South. And that is a train trestle that goes over the road and I have to go under it. And most of the time, if there's a train on it, I will stop and wait for that train. <laughs> Mom's laughing at me. But I hate getting under there. And I don't like even when I'm going down the interstate and there's an overpass and here comes an 18-wheeler or something going across it. And I think we're going to get there about the same time. I will slow down. I just don't trust the infrastructure, and I just don't, I'm afraid we may see these kind of things because our infrastructure is older. It, ha it happens all the time. Um, you want to flip over? And I don't even know how serious it is or anything. I'm going to have to go look. But I know if one person was hurt, or one, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. And we will be praying for that. Mm. Baltimore, y'all are in our prayers. Add some dill pickle on top. Yes, Terry, dill pickle would be good on this. Hi, John and Mama from Ohio. Hey, Pat, Chris, how are you? Mama, you look good. Mama, you look good, Sheila says. I was cold and I put on my little sweater over top of this shirt because I've been, it's been rainy and all It's been day. awful all day. It's sunshiny, pretty skies right now and it's been raining been all cold. day. I've been driving in it all day and they want a sprig of sunshine. <laughs> I don't care. I'm happy to see it now. Come home and it started shining. <laughs> Having uh, roast beef sandwiches with barbecue chips. Mama Sue made these today. Also, did she? Oh, no. Oh, great minds. I did not know that. I really did not. Um... So if Mama Sue made them today, that makes me feel good because me and Mama Sue and Mama has made stuff the same time before and we'll text each other and say, I liked your video with us like, you know, the creators, we're not in any kind of competition. I mean, I want everybody on our page to watch Mama Sue and to follow mm -hmm. her. And likewise, it's not like, you know, it's not like it's either or. We're all doing the same thing, and we're all on here together, and we are all friends. There's about 25 or 30 of us in our little group, and uh, Kimmy and Carol and Mom Sue and uh, Miss really Annie, and names, sure. I can't mention names. Case, there's a bunch. I'm not going to try to mention all the names, but they're all wonderful people. And uh, <clears throat> Miss Mimi, you know, there's no competition. No, we share things. We... We get on our page and talk, and if we have an issue, you put it on there. Hey, email's seeing this, and they're like, I am. Me too. Missy's. Miss, you know, I'm cooking with Missy. So if you see two of us cooking the same thing on the same day, it just means we're all synced up. It don't mean that we're trying to outdo each other, or mine's better, or this one's better. There ain't, the whole, there ain't nothing like that going on. All of it is just cooking. And, uh... I cook stuff out of Mama Sue's cookbook. I cook stuff out of Kimmy's cookbook. I would cook stuff out of Mama's cookbook, but I guess <laughs> I do. But I everybody else can't because she ain't got it written yet. She's going to work out. But we um, we share, and we're all friends. So don't ever think, they're trying to outdo each other. They're, no, no, I promise. There's nobody on there with that kind of mindset. They're all sweet, good people. They really are. And... Um, I'll have to go watch Mama Sue's. I bet you. Hers are probably different than ours. And I bet you hers are prettier than mine. 
I bet they are, because she'll have the right size. And she'll probably got golden, beautiful chicken. Mine just sort of... I, I fixed it in that hot plate. That skillet is not I can fix right better one. chicken in a skillet, in a black iron skillet. And I bet you Mama Sue had top slice buns. Fancy buns. Fancy buns. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go and we're going to say, fix these. They're good. And uh, go over and watch Mama Sue's video and see how she fixed them. She had them today. I've not seen them. Y'all, Mama Sue made these today. She says, Tr Tracy, I'm sure they were perfect. Mama Sue, she is, you know, I've talked to Mama Sue many times, and Mama Sue's the real deal. She is salt and light, and she's just as sweet as she is on that video. 100% um, real. Uh, Harold, they're, they're wonderful people. They really are. John, a ship crashed. Into the Baltimore Bridge early this morning. Multiple cars. Oh no. There was a ship crashed into the bridge. Oh wow. Hmm. Let's pray for Baltimore, folks. Let's let's pray for Baltimore. Uh, keep them in your prayers. We'll learn more. Thank you. I get my news mostly from you all because I just don't watch it anymore. I've not watched it in years. Um, it's not that I don't want to be informed of things like this to be prayerful, but I just can't find myself listening to all the other stuff. And I just, my daughter, you hurt her for good. Ah, little tiger. Vanessa, we're sorry about that too. Hello from Muncie, Indiana. I'm not able to see comments. Sometimes I can't, Brenda. Brenda Robinson, sometimes I can't see them and it drives me nuts. Thank you, Lori. Good evening, John and Lola. What's for Easter dinner and plans? Gather, we're gonna have ham, pineapple casserole, sweet potato casserole, mashed potatoes, probably pea salad. I'm not gonna confirm that yet. But that's a traditional Easter dish. Yeah, I don't know if we fix all that just for us. Mama too, says, well, you ain't getting it. Mama don't want me to have nothing. I know. She don't want me to have nothing that Easter. Are you going to let me have a little bit of ham at least? Yeah, we'll probably have ham. <laughs> I get carried away. Now, here's me. Here's me in a nutshell. Mama will tell you it's the truth. We have cooked huge dinners here for family, friends for years. Anytime a holiday comes up, I start naming 99 things and then one. And Mama's like, who's eating? Who, who are you cooking for? And then we start trimming off. Because I'm like a kid in a candy store. I start thinking about pea salad. And I think, boy, that'd be good. And I start thinking about sawdust salad. And I think, boy, that'd be good. Then I think of strawberry and pretzel salad. And I think, that'd be good. Like, who's going to eat it? You know, we were going to have 44 desserts, uh, 15 side dishes, Ham, it's ridiculous. You get to reel it in, John. So I used to let Mama. That's the reason I always said Mama has final say so because I really can't be trusted. If it's cooking for thirty, you do good. <laughs> I know. I know. We will have deviled eggs, Lord willing, and ham. Mama stop me when I get out of line. Ham, pineapple casserole. We probably won't have broccoli casserole, will we? No, it's too much. Too much. We'll have it. We'll have a simple, nice Easter lunch, and Mama will keep me from having a bunch of stuff. I'm sure. But I tell you what, it will do. It will spur my imagination, and for the next few weeks, I'll be thinking about what I didn't get for Easter, and I'll be thinking, we could have that tonight, Mama. And she'll say, okay. <laughs> okay, then she'll say. Looks good, Wilma. It is good. Yeah, someone said, if you're having trouble with the feed, go out and come back in. That does help. Please go over how you fried the chicken, John. Okay, Kathy. I, I would have shown you all, but this was just two breasts. Believe it or not, that was just two breasts. Um, I got the chicken out. I cut it up into tender-sized pieces. But someone was this thin, and they get that thick. And so I just pounded them out level with a, a mallet. So there's all the same thickness. In fact, that after I've done it, some of them I got to cut again. 
And uh, I just took, put them in a bowl of buttermilk and put the same seasons I put in the flour. Thank you, Mama. And that was y'all's lime pepper, because it's chicken. Y'all's Southern Secret, because I put that stuff on everything. And y'all's ranch, because I put that stuff on everything, too. And uh, that's all I put in. I didn't even put salt and pepper today. I didn't even, that's good. That's good. Didn't even realize it till I started frying. I thought you didn't put salt and pepper on them. I thought, well, that's it. And all I did was put them in that buttermilk and dredge them in that flour. And I put a little bit of corn starch just to keep the goodie on the chicken. And I fried it in that skillet. And that skillet's got a ring in it that's hotter. And it kind of got my chicken looking a little different. Now it should have been golden brown and beautiful. But, but this is what. No, but it tastes great. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit embarrassed with the way it looks, but it tastes great. It's chicken tenders, ain't it, Mama? Yeah. And as Mama will say, it'll eat. But that's what we did. And then I just fried it to 165 degrees. And I took it up, put it on this napkin. Some of it was a lot more. <laughs> and it was a little hotter. Mama fixed uh, bacon in the macro pro grill just so it'd be quick and easy. And, um, and that's all you do. This is a simple supper. You got to fry a little bit of chicken, but you can use Tyson's Chicken Tenderloin. I'm more not sponsored. We just like that chicken tenderloin. And you could also run by some more and pick you up a bucket of chicken or tenders. Um, however you want to do it, I'm sure it's still be good. And the other was just bag cheese and mama's hun honey mustard. If you don't want mama's honey mustard recipe, you have to fix it. Ken's is good. Somebody told me that. You were right. It's good. Uh, so you can just drizzle your own honey mm -hmm. mustard. But Mama's is so good. Yeah. And uh, that's all we did to it. That really was it. Folks, we're going to say goodbye and uh, get on. I'm going to let you all get on. I'm going to go find out about Baltimore and the bridge. I just, it's just so horrible. Um, you know, we never know. I'm sure nobody planned on that happening. That was just so sad. But you all have a great evening. Oh, yes. Very great. You got the rest of the evening. It's just 7 o'clock. We got about another hour and a half here of daylight. You can make some memories in that amount of time. Get out and play with the puppy. Do something. That's where I'm going. I'm going out <laughs> to the back. And I'm going to sit with my little puppy. Before you come home, she come in the house, back out, in the house, back out, in the house. She don't stay. She was just hunting. I think she's looking for you to give her some treats. <laughs> I'm sure she does. She won't, She comes in now a little better. She don't stand at the door like I'm not coming through this opening. But it was just spiced in, turned right back out. She's very, uh, very unsettled in. She don't like it. Uh, you take her on the porch, she'll sit there and let you play, pet her. One or two times she, on Sunday evenings, I brought her in the back and sat in the swing on the back in the in the sun porch and she sat there for an hour two different times and just let me pet her but most of the time she acts awful don't she mom yeah. when you get her in she, she, ain't, she ain't a fan of you can't close the door cause... my goal is to get her comfortable enough to spend the night in the house before next winter in case there's an extra cold night and she'll see maybe if she gets used to it she'll do it more often but she wouldn't let you sleep She'd, she'd be like, let's go, get me out of here. I think she's, maybe she's claustrophobic. I don't she know. don't want you to close the door, that's for sure. She certain. don't like the door closed at all. But anyhow, we're going to try to work with her a little bit more and get her in, because I want to be have the option of bringing her in in the winter. Although she don't seem to ever mind the cold. The coldest mornings is when she's out running in the frost. Um, you don't ever find her in the bed. Hardly ever do you find her in the bed. Um, she was out playing in the rain today. Yeah. Soaking away it. Rain, she could be. She's living her best life every day. That little doll is. Mama thinks now she's perfect. Just like me. Oh. <laughs> You'd come around, Mama. I've caught Mama. She's on three. chewed up the water hose. She's chewed up everything. <laughs> I've caught Mama on three or four different occasions here lately. See, are we got an alarm? No matter where I'm at in the house. It tells me back door. Girl, oh, I can't door. Feed her a little bit of time. And I'll hear back door. I'm like, what's she doing at the back door? 
I'll slip in here and I can see her through the kitchen. She's fading her treats. And I, I said, fed her this dog food today. Are you feeding the baby? Oh, I just gave her one little treat. I see her. She gets two or three from her too. I gave her plain old dog food because she come in and out the front door so much. I thought she's a wanting treats. So I just gave her. She'll take dog food for treats. She don't care. Mm -hmm. I did give her that so she wouldn't feel left out because she come in. Where she is. She's an old softie. <laughs> Mama, you got anything you want to add? No. Mama, you did a wonderful supper tonight. Oh, I didn't do nothing. You that. did bacon and you did that honey mustard. You did the chicken and the tomato and got stuff out. So we done good. Folks, we're going to say good night. And we're going to say, y'all make some memories and have a good evening. Mama, say good night to the good folks. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, Fresh Baltimore.